Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Seeing my ugly smug face again. Jeez. God, sometimes looking in the mirror, you know, I see this, I'm like, I should shave. And then I think to myself, meh. Then I'm like, yeah. Then I'm like, Anyway, welcome. So, um, Monday's over for some. Uh, Tuesday's just around the bend. The week is going for Um, this is actually going to be the last week that I work at the Miramar location at the box company and starting Sunday I will be officially starting my new location uh, in Chula Vista at the box company so I'm I'm a mixture of uh, emotions right now I have anxiety I have uh, doubts I have fears um, I'm anxious I'm nervous I don't know what to what to expect. I don't know how it's gonna play out. Uh, sorry for the smoke. It's a cigarette, right? I don't, I don't, uh, toke up going until the weekends. Okay, so that's party time. Anyway, so like I said, I'm, I'm like a whole bunch of mixtures of just feelings right now that I don't know if I'm going to sink or swim but knowing me I'm going to go in there confident positive that I know how to do the job I know what the job entails so I, it's not like all brand new to me it's just basically I'm, tra I'm being transferred to a different location doing the same thing that I would be doing at Miramar just a different location so that that kind of went out of my brain it's fitting in it's fitting in and making new acquaintances new friends that's the scary thing and because of that I'm nervous let's go on a little journey shall we Follow me. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Monday. I had a decent Monday. Started out great. Now it's raining. Lightly. Even though they say it's supposed to rain uh, Wednesday. Those weather people lied. Anyway. Alright. Oh. Hello darkness, my old friend. I can't find the light switch once again. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. We're back in my uh, humble abode. My room. Alright. Alright. Welcome to my uh, dull room. Yes, I know, it, it, the walls are bare. As an anime fan, and a punk rocker, I used to be tagged up with anime figurines and posters and, and magazine cutouts of, you know, my favorite bands, but it's not. It's not, unfortunately. It used to be, but it's not. Um. Hopefully, uh, when I do, um, move, uh, to Maine, and I get my new room, it's gonna be, like, ten times, well, not, maybe, like, five times the size of this, bigger, um, I'm definitely going to get it all set up to my epic room, my room, so, um, but like I said, back to the story. 
So, so story time. We are talking about me going to the box company in a new location. I am nervous, um, because I have to acclimate myself in a new environment, new faces, new people, new interactions, and I am kind of one of those type of people that have a hard time uh, fitting in. It took me a while. It took me about maybe two, maybe. It took me a week. <laughs> it took me a week to uh, to make some acquaintances at uh, the Miramar location. Um, thanks to Christian, you know his love for anime. Um, that's what really sparked me to take the leap of faith and introduce myself and to talk to him about the anime that he was, the anime shirt he was wearing, and from there it just, it grew, you know, we had a similar, a similar interest, and we just started, you know, building up a friendship that way, and working, and becoming good co-workers, um, such as Paulin, or aka Paul, um, that's how I, I, I met him, uh, he, introduced me to a lot of different cool uh, bands and anime series and it was great. Um, Kenny, you know, um, he was the first actual co-worker that taught me how to load the truck and, you know, we just, we hit it off, you know, with our jokes and, you know, just whatnot. So, like I said, it took me a week. The only difference is, is this new place I'm going to I, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious. But I know it. I hope it could take me a week, but it might take me longer, or I might just be a solitary um, drone worker. Basically, I just go to work. I don't talk. I don't interact with anyone, and that would make my life miserable. It would really make my life miserable because I'm not one person to just do a job and just stay quiet all the time. I've done that way too many times and I lost out on good opportunities of making friends, uh, being able to hang out with friends after work, you know, go catch a grab a bite to eat or, you know, go to the beach, hang out, have a bonfire, have a beer to us with, you know, a party or something. Um, but because I was so antisocial and had so many different uh, inner, uh, feelings of, of, of doubts and, you know, whatnot, I, uh, I was scared. Oh, uh, so I never really opened up. So, yeah. Anyway, like I said, um, so currently I am in the process of doing that. So, Fingers crossed, everything goes smooth by the books and by the numbers. Um, don't, don't worry, don't worry. There's still going to be videos here on the channel. There's still going to be content. Don't worry yourselves, okay? When the weekends come, shenanigans, whatever we, me and Cody called it, is gonna be happening every weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Sunday usually will just be a relaxing video, but Friday and Saturday, when you have shenanigans, we don't know what's happening, but you'll find out. Um, and also, um, there will be uh, streams on here. Um, the videos will be on here, and streams will be on Twitch. Um, for uh, things that I couldn't put on YouTube so until I figure out a good algorithm of where to put uh, certain videos and, and certain things on certain outlets um, that's where I'm, that's where you'll find me um, in the social world 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 <laughs> So, anyway, 
I hope everyone uh, is excited. I guess we are in a new month. It's the month of February. Um. God, there's really nothing good about February. It's just another month. Well, actually, no. Well, wow, someone, someone's probably gonna, like, you know, mention something on my Facebook and be like, Hey, I watched your YouTube video and you didn't mention, uh, you know, Valentine's Day. Or you didn't mention Black Lives Matter or Black History Month. Uh, okay. Well, none of those things do I care about anymore. Um, I used to care about Valentine's Day, but that was when I actually was, had some of the love. And to smile about. Unfortunately, she's not here anymore. But here's my thing on Valentine's Day. Short to the brief, to the point. You don't need one day to tell someone you love them. So that Valentine's Day nonsense bullshit doesn't work with me. <laughs> tell everybody, whoever, every single day. Tell them you love them. Give them a hug. Give them a high five. Smile. Give them a thumbs up. Give them the finger for Christ's sakes. I don't care. Do it 365 days a year. Not just one day in the in the year and in a month. No. Do it forever. Because life is too short. And in a moment, and a blink of an eye, or a snap of a finger, thank you, trickster. Supernatural reference, if anyone got that. Um, Gabriel. Then things are gonna happen, you know? You're gonna you're gonna miss out on those opportunities to tell anyone that you care about them. So that's what I think about Valentine's Day. It is just a marketing scheme that makes people fall in love for one day, but love is just a it's an emotion, you know, it is, it is a conjuring feeling that arises when you think you love someone, or you think they love you. But I do have a, I do have a, some, some works in the, um, in the making of, uh, releasing a new song called, um, I think I'm gonna redo the song called, uh, um, X's for cuties. Here, here's my Valentine's Day song for you. Um, I'm gonna re uh, work the lyrics and try to get a decent melody up on that and uh, get that out to you guys. I'll also have a Valentine's anti Valentine's Day uh, video um, here on the channel. Cause I gotta talk about it on Valentine's Day. Uh, anyway, uh, next next topic on the agenda. Anyway, so um, there's going to be a lot more content coming um, in the near future. My setups for uh, my laptop and my webcam and my microphone are still in the works. Um, same as my PS4. I'm in the process of getting a, uh, well, I'm gonna try to get a, uh, internal hard drive so I have more memory space, um, to download my games, and then I can be able to use as uh, games and be able to stream on Twitch, uh, games that I enjoy playing and talking about and, uh, ranting and raving and me being a very bad gamer. Uh, so, that's, um, in the works. Also, um, there is a, a new thing, um, in March. There's going to be a new game that's coming out. I am going to talk about it. I am going to, uh, try to stream it on Twitch. I am going to be, uh, kind of diving into that, uh, a little bit more. Um... 
guitar videos are still coming on. I actually posted one of just me practicing with Karen. Yeah, I brought Karen back out. Apparently she kept bitching and arguing in the bag and she's like, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to the manager. Let me out. So I turned her up. I shut her up. And she, she made somewhat of a decent melody. Um, and I streamed it on Twitch. Um, I was gonna stream, I was gonna uh, record it, but on post it here, but I didn't feel like it. I don't think Karen deserves that kind of recognition yet. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, the melody that um, I kind of stumbled upon was I keep falling back to it. It's a mixture of uh, the death tones and uh, the pixies. So I have that that's the distortion of the death tones. But yet I have that same melody, uh, uh, melody, uh, rhythm, um, motif of, uh, Where Is My Mind by the Pixies, uh, which is a really good song, um, it's in a lot of, uh, great movies I've been watching, uh, that I've watched and seen, so, um, but yeah, so I did that today. Um, <sighs> I don't know, I'm just, I'm just worried, you know, I'm worried because I don't know if my life is being directed in the right path, if that makes sense. You know, I didn't think I was gonna get the transfer. <laughs> um, I applied for it a year ago, and unfortunately, some people that had been transferred prior to that uh, were fuck ups. Excuse my language. Um, and they uh, they made it very difficult for me to transfer because the other the company in Chovisa didn't like who we were sending down there uh, to be trained and to be hired into uh, and to work for them. And so they were reluctant on any other transfers that were coming from Myanmar. So uh, it was kind of on a standstill. Um, I currently was working in Miramar, living in Ramona, and when I moved down to Chula Vista, the drive became a little bit more uh, difficult than uh, a, t a 10 minute drive uh, from Ramon to Miramar to a uh, 35 minute drive from South Bay to uh, Miramar. And so now the transfer, it, from, from my house, it's only about 14 minutes. It's a straight shot. It is, it's gonna be a lifesaver in the gas, especially when gas prices are going up um, and wear, wear and tear on the vehicle because my car is pretty old. But, uh, she, she can run. She can run. She can't make the Kessel run in, like, you know, 0 0.6 miles per hour. But, you know, I don't know. I think I said that quote wrong. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright. Um. But, anyway. Uh, there's a, there's this really cool road. Um, because me and my dad took a drive later today, uh, up there. And uh, on the road, it's like this really nice, like, freaking S turn. And then it goes up, and then it kind of like, it goes up an incline, bank. Oh, dude, initial, initial D vibes. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be fun. Deja vu. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I'm really excited. <laughs> uh, the little anime weeb in me. Anyway. Um, well, like I said, this is just story time with Corey. So, uh, thank you for, uh, watching another episode of, uh, Unpopular YouTuber. Um, story time with Corey. And I'll see you guys and gals in the next one. As always, you know where to find me. This is Corey. Sign out.